Hello, this is Professor Stephen Escheba. A few steps uh, on this uh, visualizing thermodynamic surfaces computational guided inquiry. So, um, you know, presumably you've already installed Canopy on your Mac or your PC and you've done the tutorial. And uh, so uh, here's how, what you'll do next. You know, you'll, uh, you'll uh, download the uh, Python notebook, you know, and uh, save this link as... Um, with something and and when you do this, of course, you'll want to uh, save it with uh, your own name instead of last name, which I've already done here, named it Nesheba, so I'm just gonna not do that right now. And, and I've also uh, already loaded that up in Python. <clears throat> and so here's the Python notebook, and of course, you'll want to read through uh, the theoretical aspects of this. But um, what I want to do is just point you here that the preparation for the activity, you'll want to. Uh, 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 write down the relevant equations, the value of the gas constant, and the liter atmosphere unit, syst uh, unit system. And uh, and in particular, you want to look up some Van der Waals parameters A and B for a gas of your choice. Uh, Wikipedia is a good source for that, right there. And uh, and uh, just make sure you get it in the right units and uh, enter all these things in your lab notebook. Now, uh, for the in-class activities, and of course you can get started on this before the class uh, and. Uh, there's, there's, I don't know, five or six um, activity boxes here, or what are called cells. So the uh, first one is, uh, you know, you're going to, here's some A and B uh, uh, Van der Waals parameters and, uh, for just a hypothetical gas. Oh, but look at our temperatures are wrong. I should have it at 300. So you want to change that. And uh, we wanted a uh, volume of uh, 25 liters. Still have one mole. What does this do? Well, it calculates the... Um, calculates the Van der Waals, uh, the pressure of a Van der Waals gas and also the pressure of an ideal gas and then calculates the, the error. So I'm going to shift return and that's that's one way to execute a cell and look at that what it reported the pressure of the Van der Waals gas is almost the same as the ideal gas a very small percentage error. Now uh, next thing is to do some graphics so uh, this 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 command here is just ensures that the graphics will appear in line uh, as, a, as opposed to a separate box. And um, so this is a command called linspace. All right, it's, it's going to give me uh, 50 numbers by default between 5 and 40 liters in this case. Oh, but look, we wanted between 10 and 40. So I'm going to change that to 10 and 40. And, um, you know, the rest of this should be good to go. So I'm going to execute that. And look at that, 50 points between 10 and 40 volumes equally spaced. And that's in a new variable called a v underscore array because there's a whole bunch of variables. And uh, so our, the next goal is to graph the boil isotherm. So we're going to keep the temperature the same. And this is the ideal gas law you know, equation of state. But instead of dividing by the volume, I'm going to divide by all those, that, that array of volumes. And, uh, and these are some plot commands. So let's see what happens when we... We execute that. Well, there are 50 points in the pressure, of course. And now it's graphing pressure as a function of volume, so it looks pretty good. Uh, you'll want to do the same thing for uh, a Van der Waals gas and, uh, and also, you know, get the error. Now, don't forget that when you do this error, you want the error um, over the entire range of pressures as, as, as for the Van der Waals gas, over the entire range of volumes. And uh, let's see one more thing here then. Uh, when we're going to look at a thermodynamic surface, uh, it's going to be convenient to have all of this graphics not appear in line, but in separate windows. So that's what this does here. So I just executed that um, that cell. And now here, uh, I'm going to generate a series of volumes. Now the default was uh, 5 to 40, but we really want 10 to 40. So I'll change that to 10 and the temperatures we also want a range of temperatures from 250 to 300 and uh, or 350 so I'm going to change this accordingly and uh, this this command right here mesh grid what it does is it's going to create a whole grid of points over that range of volumes and temperatures and uh, when you when you execute this you'll kind of see how that that works there are 50 by 50 points in a volume grid so that means 50 volumes and 50 temperatures and so forth. And now uh, you notice here that when I calculate the pressure according to the ideal gas law, I'm going to take that whole grid of temperatures and divide it by the whole grid of volumes. And that will give me a, a new 
a grid of pressures, and this logic right here will will, will graph it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, execute that, and as you can see, it appears in a separate window. With I can uh, I can left click and rotate around, and uh, make all that happen. So that's the uh, that's the spirit of this exercise.